Hi, welcome to showmethecurry.com. I'm Anuja. And I'm Hithil. And today we're making vegetable jalfrezi, which is a type of Indian stir fry. So it's a delicious recipe. Let's get started. So to start off our jalfrezi, we're going to first blanch a couple of the vegetables. Over here we have a pot of water boiling and it's come to a rapid boil. To this we're going to add one teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder. And here we have um, three cups of cauliflower and uh, florets. Basically we've cut them down to bite sized pieces and we're going to add it. And we have half a cup of carrots. You want to keep them to a size where they don't disappear but also are soft enough. Give it a mix. And we're going to let it boil for three minutes from this point. So while the cauliflower and carrots are blanching, we also have a bowl of ice and water here all ready. So right when those things get done in three minutes, we're going to pull them out of there, drain the water out, and then plunge them into this ice cold water. That'll help the cooking to stop immediately. It's been three minutes. We're going to turn off our vegetables. And we're just going to take them out and like Hethel mentioned, drop them into the ice cold water. Now this is, what this is going to do is, it's going to get the rawness out of the vegetables and yet keeping the crunch and not uh, letting them overcook when we cook them on the stove top. So what we did was after we transferred the vegetables in the cold water, we just let them sit for like just about a minute or two and then we just drained out the water and they look fantastic. And right here we have a skillet here or you can get a medium sized pan and we have one tablespoon of oil heating in there. Mm -hmm. It's already hot so we'll add half of a chopped onion and we're going to saute this until it slightly changes color. And the onions are looking really good. They've got a nice brown coating mm -hmm. on it and we can go ahead and add one teaspoon of ginger and two teaspoons of garlic minced. and saute this for about another minute. And after a minute we have half of a can of tomato sauce, about four ounces, half a cup. And we're going to saute this until the oil leaves the sides. And while that's going on, over here I have a little skillet. I'm going to add two tablespoons of whole coriander seeds and I'm just going to dry roast them on low heat till they get a nice color and you'll be able to smell them a mile away. Absolutely. Coriander has such a nice mild flavor and toasting it like this really releases just this amazing aroma. Right and especially doing it fresh <laughs> on a dish, there's nothing like it. So the dhania looks done, all the coriander seeds look done, they got a wonderful color, we're going to turn it off and immediately transfer them to avoid cooking any further and getting burnt. And we're going to let them cool down just a little bit before we pound them down. The tomatoes look fantastic and to this we're going to add about half a bell pepper and we just cut it to like about half an inch just basically good bite sized pieces. Half a cup of uh, frozen peas that we've just drained. And what we're going to do is we're going to just cook it for about a couple of minutes and we'll be ready for other vegetables. And in the meantime our coriander seeds have cooled down and I'm just going to take a mortar and pestle and crush them. So if you have a spice grinder, you can easily grind this in a spice grinder also. You just want to powder it down. Mm -hmm. These smell amazing. You smell? <laughs> yes, mm. I do. Absolutely wonderful. Jalfrezi is actually a dish that was, thanks to the British being in India, they are the ones who came up with it and um, introduced, I think, uh, a new dish for us. But it's a, it's a great, you know, great combination of different vegetables. You can of course have chicken gel crazy, mutton gel crazy, or vegetables, or you can just do like one particular, you know, uh, focus on one vegetable as opposed mm -hmm. to a combination of different vegetables. 
To this we're going to add our blanched vegetables, the cauliflower and the carrots. And mix. And at this point we can also add in salt to taste. And here's our freshly toasted and ground coriander seeds. Mm. I think wow. this makes the dish. <laughs> and we also have a little bit of garam masala. Just one teaspoon. Or to taste, yeah. Mm -hmm. You can also add red chili powder if mm. you need to. And this may look like a lot of masala or a lot of spices, but honestly, cor coriander has got a very mild flavor, so it's not an overwhelmingly you know, strong amount. And since we have a lot of dry spices in here, we can just take a little bit of water and just gently sprinkle over it. Not too much, but this will just create a little bit of steam and help the moisture a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we let this cook, stirring often for just about two or three minutes. Mm -hmm. And our final step is we have some tomatoes. It's just one tomato, which we've uh, de-seeded. And it's important to de-seed because we don't want a lot of uh, mushy, you know, moisture in here. And uh, you get this nice, even-shaped uh, yeah. tomato pieces in there. Yeah. So that's one tomato we're going to add in now. Also make sure, you try and use a more firm tomato as opposed to one on its way out. It just helps holds shape a little better. But look at it. Wow. Beautiful. I love the combination of colors and the aroma in this kitchen at this <laughs> point. Unbelievable. So we let the tomatoes cook for just another minute or two just mm -hmm. to soften them up a bit. And we're going to sprinkle some lemon juice on top to taste. It brings out a lot of the flavors. And mix. You can also do your taste test and see if you need anything else. You can turn off the stove now. <laughs> this is a wonderful dish if you have some rotis or chapatis, naan. Um, it's a dry dish so it doesn't really go with rice but uh, as a side it's just amazing. Yes. It's amazing color for your plate and uh, garnish it with a little bit of cilantro leaves and you are set. So our vegetable jilfrezi is done. Mm -hmm. Let's give it a shot. Next. Looks fantastic. It does. Mm. Great texture. Mm. Love it, love it. Yum. You know that lime juice at the end? It just balances out everything else. It's like a fresh mm. yeah. pop. Yum. <laughs> so enjoy your gel crazy and join us again on another episode of ShowMeTheCurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life. <laughs>